How much are these? Tare? Easy. This one, yeah. Easy. Easy? Yeah. What's going on guys? Today I've come to the Sampeng Market right here in the heart of Bangkok. This is what it looks like from the outside guys. Lots of great smelling snacks out here. And the entrance. This market is open every day from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, yeah. Lots of stores, jewelry. We need some slippers. Let's see if we can find some slippers, guys. Because we're going down to Hua Hain, Koh Hanang, and Phuket. And if we don't have uh, slippers, it's gonna be a mess since I only brought one pair of shoes. And uh, considering I'm, I'm a big foot too, so it might be a little hard finding something suitable. Wow, this is so nice. I can, there's a little bit of breeze and all these shades up just uh, kind of block out the heat and the humidity. Let's see. Where can we find slippers? Also, I wouldn't mind uh, finding one of those dive bags. You know, the waterproof bags that you uh, roll the top. You see them a lot out here. I bet you 90% of the stuff that uh, we buy on Amazon for 20 bucks or 30 bucks are dollar or two down here. It's just a matter of uh, finding what you need, which uh, which is proving to be a little bit more difficult than I imagined. They have water guns already for Songkran. Okay, they have these waterproof pouches. I actually do need one. But not that particular one. Maybe... Uh, okay, those ones are not bad. I think it's 20 or 40 bodies. But I wanna... I just want a blank one. I don't want to be carrying a Mickey Mouse pouch around with me. Oh, so one for 120, three for 100, and six for 90 baht each. Do you have a... Do you have like these ones but plain? Uh, no sticker? No picture? No? Just this? I should probably get my phone out. Might be a little bit easier with uh, Google Translate. Cup and crap. So Beauty store. More jewelries. Electronics. 
I wouldn't mind uh, having one of those fans, but I really don't want to be carrying it around. <laughs> How much are these? Tare? This one, yeah. Easy. Easy? Like two zero, okay. Can I get a clear one? Oh. Okay, I'll take uh, take blue, please. Try. Up on top. All right, for first first purchase of the day, it is blue though. I wanted it clear, but it is what it is. Thought I'll match my shirt since there wasn't. Uh, it was unnecessary the one I wanted. All right, now let's find some slippers. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, this place is like pretty much wholesale. So you don't want to be uh, bargaining with these people, especially if you're just buying a single item. Uh, maybe you can try to bargain if you're buying more than one. But if you're just buying one thing, excuse me. If you're buying one thing, it's going to be uh, hard to justify for them. Traffic jam. Mm -hmm. you Sometimes you gotta step sideways in life, and that was one of them. Lots of jewelry stores and uh, clothes, accessories. I believe the the stock changes depending on um, holidays and uh, things that are gonna be. Close and upcoming because I am seeing uh, quite a few waterproof bags, uh, water guns, and uh, yeah, stuff for Sankran. Let's see here. Let's see, they have these water guns. I might pick up. Um, pick up two of these later since uh, Grady is going to be joining me in a couple of days and they're probably going to be triple or quadruple the price in um, Patong. I love seeing the little uh, snack stalls and once in a while you see a motorbike it's cool more water guns and uh Seems like you can find everything except uh, slippers. I might be at the wrong section of the market. But either way, this will make an interesting video for you guys.
Las de mamá noodles. Two huge water guns, man. I could definitely see some uh, some tourists getting carried away and getting the big boys and just splashing people. So, if you guys didn't know, Songkran is the High New Year, and they celebrate by. Um, Splashing water on each other and stuff, which is meant to cleanse away the bad energy for the new year. Oh, nice slippers! So, the cop 250, yeah, same, 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 nice. Okay, so they are all same price. So small. Big, big. Yeah. You have a yeah, yeah. You have? Uh I CC pet? CC CC pet maybe? So 48 maybe? Yeah. Any of these ones? Jordan? Mm -hmm. 48? Big 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 45. 45, can I see? These would probably be closer to like 20, 30 in uh, Canada. So definitely worth it for uh, 10 bucks. Cup and cup. Uh, can I get two? One with this two? Sorry. Song. Noon? 45? Song, chai. Hop and cup. Discount? No discount, two by two. <laughs> no discount. Okay, hop and cup, no problem. Can I, uh, can I leave here? Later I come grab? I live here, I come back. Okay, cup and cup. So not bad, 20 bucks for two pairs. And like I said, those are 20 bucks Canadian. So those would be somewhere close to um, 30, 40 dollars each. Especially if they're Jordan, they're gonna be even more expensive. So that's good, there you go. Now we got our slippers too. We got our waterproof bag. We don't necessarily need anything, but I don't mind walking around and showing you guys the rest of the market and probably grabbing some breakfast uh, along the way. Let's see. There we go, we've seen our first set of foreigners. I am not alone. Actually, the prices seem, seem to be consistent, so I wouldn't necessarily uh, worry about worry about getting ripped off. They have these nice pouches. I want to take a look, see if we have. So they caught. All right. Three hundred. Yeah. Samroy. Samroy. Okay. Do you have a uh, other brand? Only this. Brand no. Okay. Okay. Cup and chat. So 300 for the pouches, which is uh, about 12 Canadian or 10 bucks American. Not bad at all. 
ไม่มีขายเป็นมวยทั้งหมดสองร้อยเจ็ดสิบสามต่อโอนตังค์มาสิโอนมาสิครับ Oh there's a hostel right in the middle of จะจ่ายเงินสดหรือจะจ่ายเงินโอน Interesting Did not expect that Have to keep your eyes peeled when you're in these uh, these alleys because the bikes will just come rolling through, and if you're not paying attention, they will. Uh I don't think they'll hit you, but you know you don't want to cause an issue. Okay, it looks like we're getting close to the end of the market. We got some small food stalls. Oh. Let's see if we can. Uh, Okay, much less crowded over here for some reason. Not sure why. The alleys seem to be more, uh, more like food stalls rather than. The clothing and the accessories. Just gonna get on the side here, let this ambulance through. Wow, there's a there's like a mid-sized truck coming through here. I was surprised at the ambulance van, but now there's a Mid-sized truck, look at this. This is insane good. Oh, okay. It's unloading. Looks like they're unloading there. Alright. I do want to find a pouch because this one is uh, falling apart and I've had it for about five years. So if we find something. But it looks like we're at the end, so we might have to just turn around. Which is good, you get a perspective from the other side of the market. I think that was another tourist, so the count is at three. Are you guys counting with me? And one of these watermelons looks absolutely mouth-watering. Cut to the cup. I need cup. Cup on cup. I need cup. All right. So, if you didn't catch that, ye sip. Is 20, Sip is 10, Yi Sip is 20, Sam Sip is 30, C Sip is 40, and uh, so on and so on. And once you get to 100, it becomes Roy, so it's Nung Roy. 
on the way. And uh, Sam Roy. Alright, let's have a enough waffling. Looks like one of these beautiful fresh fruits. If I can get it. Mm. Nice and cold and very juicy. Like sometimes we buy watermelon in Canada and they tend to be very um, bland, like no no flavor at all. Like even we can barely even smell it. But I noticed fruit out here and even like other countries I visited in Asia just taste so much more flavorful. I'll show you guys some of the streets. Um, I'm sure you don't want to just watch me eat watermelon for the whole video. Oh, cute. Look at those alligators. Yeah. So like I said, it's a semi-highway. I don't know how uh, high people don't sweat. Man, it's crazy. I'm sweating balls and people are just chilling. Oh, <laughs> I was standing exactly where he wanted to go. Wow, this little area is just so nice and cool. But. Okay, time for me to grab my stuff. Hi. Up and cut. Oh, I do need a new cheese pouch. Let's see how much. A piece of ice. Should be appropriate. Cut the cup. How are you? See, see. Okay, forty bucks. Do you have a uh, paste? What toothpaste? You know, you put on top. Ah, this is a hoxip. Hoxip. Pen, I have the Okay. Okay. So sixty baht for that one. Cup on cup. Cup. Oh, sorry. So it's some kind of uh, herbal, herbal type. And hopefully it's not uh, too strong. It's pink, but whatever. It's 2024. Some nice food stalls. We got hats here, bags. Okay, so that's one of the bags that I was actually looking for, one of the ones up there. I wonder how much they are. Sorry, Kat. Me, uh, how are you? Raka, how are you? Uh, 20. 20. 200. 200. 200. Yeah. Okay, do you have a different color? Yeah. Hello. Color? Oh, okay. Color. I get uh, green. 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 Cup and cup. So, yeah, like I said, not much bargaining here because prices are really low. It's 
it's uh, it'll be offensive to start bargaining for eight dollars Canadian, and I'm sure these are selling for uh, upwards of thirty dollars on Amazon. So. Cup and cup. Okay, let's see. Let's get a bolt. 40 baht. So, about dollar fifty. Same, uh, same price I paid to get here. Well, it was 38, now it's 42, so average to 40 baht. Massive respect to these guys, man. What they do for their family is just amazing. Carrying a passenger in this heat and uh, 